Hey everyone, today I am at the beautiful Templatonia lookout and this is in the Coffin Bay National Park. Now I've actually missed most of the colour because I spent so much time setting up but you can see that first light sort of sunrise colours are happening in the sky behind me. Well first lights happen but I'm not sure if sunrise actually has happened yet. There's a lot of clouds around um, but the thing is that I did not stay in the national park overnight so I had to drive here in the morning so that slowed me down a bit because if I had have stayed here overnight I could have gotten here quicker and gotten set up earlier but anyway I'm gonna try and paint it with as many colors as I can and I better get on to painting really quickly because these colors are gonna fade really fast uh, it is a bit of a gloomy looking day it looks like it's threatening to rain but um, According to the weather forecast, it's not going to rain today, so hopefully the weather forecast is correct and it doesn't rain. Uh, let me show you guys around and then we will get straight into the painting. So there's the sunrise. There's the beautiful view. I really love the mountains back there and I've got like a, a long shaped canvas, so I'll probably do like a painting sort of there-ish. And then there's more view. Check out the sky, by the way. It's like really putting on the drama today. And uh, yeah, it's pretty beautiful up here. And there is my setup. Let's get started. All right, so here I am oiling my canvas and we are straight into the time lapse. So here I am doing my sketch up and you might be thinking, gee, those mountains are big. And you're right. But I'm not a geologist, I'm an artist. Uh, so anyway, moving on. <laughs> I'm just putting uh, some of the colors in the sky for the sunrise and you can see I'm doing this quite thick and with a palette knife. I did actually try and add a lot of texture to this painting, but I didn't want texture to be the redeeming factor of this painting because sometimes you see paintings and the only thing that kind of saves them is texture. Well, I didn't want that to happen with this one. I wanted it to be a nice painting even if it didn't have texture so I uh, yeah I just um, tried to make it as uh, as good as I could like color wise and stuff uh, so yeah that's that's the sunrise sky and I'm fairly happy about that I think it looks pretty much like what's in the sky and thankfully the sky didn't fade too quickly um, so now I'm just adding in some of the some of the mountains and I will blend that in just a moment because obviously that looks very two-toned. Uh, but the mountains did have fog down the bottom of them. Well, the really distant ones anyway, not the closer ones. They were, they were fine. They were just normal mountains. So I did actually manage to get rained on. You won't see it in the video because it was quite light. But um, yeah, it did actually rain. And so now I'm just adding in some slightly closer mountains and there was actually a lake running between these mountains. So I'll pop that in in just a moment. And uh, yeah, I'm popping in the lake right now, but actually I'll blend that with a brush because I realized when I started adding it in with the palette knife that it looked slightly too textured and then it made the painting a little bit confusing. So I was like, yeah, a lake is quite flat. So I used a brush to, to pop that one in and um, I just need to add a little bit more detail over the mountains that are basically in the water. But well, they're not really mountains, they're just, I don't know, like little islandy things. And uh, yeah, just gotta add some, some shrubs and, and stuff on top of that. Uh, as you can see, I'm doing that right now, and that's just to, to make them look a bit more realistic. And now these closer hills, uh, they're quite dark and they're covered in trees. So I'm just adding in the kind of backing color, and then I'll add in some indications that there are trees there. They won't be very detailed because they're still quite far into the distance. So yeah, you can see I'm adding in some darker color that's meant to kind of represent trees. It is actually quite textured, so that was quite nice and um, helped it to look a bit more like like trees. And I'm, I'm really pleased with how this painting is coming along so far. The sky actually looks quite glowing at this point. And uh, now I'm just adding in some darker colors because there's uh, there's sort of like sand dunes in this area, but uh, there's bushes all throughout, and um, I figured it would be good to put dark where the bushes are so I don't get too confused. And um, yeah, you can see now I'm putting in the, the kind of sandy color right now because, uh, yeah, I need that there. 
Uh, I'm also trying to just get in sort of the background because there are going to be some trees going over the top of a few of these areas but I just want it to look sort of realistic in the background so that when I pop the trees in they don't look out of place or weird or like oh hey what's going on behind the tree <laughs> um, so yeah even though some of this you won't be seeing I decided to try and you know like make it a little bit more detailed anyway and um, yeah now I'm just about to put in the tree so you can see I'm, I'm actually adding some quite fine branches and the way I'm doing this is I am using liquid thinning medium. This was my first time using liquid thinning medium and actually it is amazing for getting fine details in and I sort of wish I had have opened this jar before because it had just been sitting in my bag for ages. You can see that tree is looking awesome like it's it's got a lot of really fine branches because this isn't a particularly huge uh, canvas so yeah, I did make the tree a different color to what it was in real life, and that's because I really wanted it to stand out. And I feel like this color, it was neutral enough to look natural, but also it looked really pretty. So um, yeah, now I'm just adding a darker color into the foreground so that the whole canvas has color on it. And I'm going to go ahead and add some like like bushes into that little area um, just after I finish detailing these sand dunes. So yeah, I'm just adding in some some bushes and trees now because uh, this area was quite dense with like trees and bushes and um, yeah, it also helps to, to bring the foreground forward and sort of separate the planes of the painting a little bit because um, obviously there's those, those sand dunes in the background and yeah, if you see some trees in front of them, it makes a bit more sense. Um, but I am jumping around a little bit at this point in the painting you'll notice that I'll just go over and work on this tree now. Uh, so I'm just going to add in some finer branches now. And oh, as I said, I'm so pleased with this liquid thinning medium. So there's my finer branches and I'm just adding in all the bushy bits. And we're getting pretty close to the end of the painting now. I just need to add all the rest of the bushes. And I did try and make some of these quite textured. You can sort of see the texture in that one. And um, yeah, no, I'm really pleased with how this is coming along. So I just had to add these bushes and then um, that would be my finished painting. So we're nearly there. Um, I, I did spend a bit of time adding the bushes, seeing as I had the liquid thinning medium and I could add a bit more detail. And that's basically it. And we have our finished painting. Guys, I am so happy right now. So it's been about five hours, pretty much on the dot, um, or like really close to. And... Uh, I've just finished painting. Oh, I'm so happy about it. I feel like it looks really good. Uh, so this time, actually, I bought some flow medium from the art shop and I'd not used it until now. I just had it sitting in my bag and then I was like, you know what? I really need to put some branches and sticks in and they've got to be fine. I was like, how the heck am I going to do this? So I tried the flow medium and it actually worked amazingly. Uh, however, when I read the, the back of the ingredients of the flow medium, it says, uh, warning not to be taken, and then skip forward a little bit, it says, contains petroleum distillate. That doesn't sound too good. <laughs> well, anyway, it works really well. <laughs> so we'll just ignore the fact that it's petrol. <laughs> um, and let me show you guys the painting because I'm so pleased with this one. So this is my completed painting. You can see there's the, there's the mountains and the sand dunes and all the trees and the sunrise and more trees and bushes and I'm just so pleased with this. Here's a photo of the finished painting and hopefully this helps you guys to see the detail and the texture a bit better. I'm really pleased with the colours that happened in the sky and I feel like this painting just kind of works. Uh, it is about 20 centimetres by 60 centimetres which is why it's so long. Um, which is about sort of half of the size of a normal canvas that I paint on. But yeah, I'm super pleased with the result. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all again next time. Bye.